saying things I think quietly with those that admire me. Remember MTV Diary or something like that. I wear my heart up on my sleeve and I bleed for you. Cooking beats, hoping to reach like each one you. But not release trust if you feel like my shit is weak. When you see me on the street, to speak, I refund you. Huh. The sample was yelling, loop me. Miss Hill, please don't sue me. Hey guys, we're new to my channel. I am Simply Key. So, I have two videos coming to you guys, and it's gonna be about hair. So, this video is gonna be about tips that I have found helpful with me um, purchasing my units. Everybody, a lot of people have been wondering how do I go about deciding what unit's gonna work for me, picking and choosing my units, what per what place to order my units from, or just advice on your wigs and weaves. Now, your girl don't wear weaves, but she'll throw a wig on in a minute. So, um, stay tuned for the next video because the next video is gonna be my top um five weeks that are under 25 bucks so let's get into these tips so what i find to be helpful for me is number one i don't know if a lot of you know or not but once wigs become popular that cheap price that you could get it for starts to rise and go up so where you might have been able to get a wig for 22 dollars at one point now that everybody's copying it and getting it you might get it for like 29 30 bucks. This was all the raise because this is the Italian curl. It was all the rave at one time. So it was running $27, $28. Now it's dirt cheap. Now, I do not go to the beauty supply to buy any of my units. Always remember that units at the beauty supplies tend to run super high. So it's like you might not want to pay that shipping and handling, that $8 shipping and handling. But by the time you get a beauty supply wig, this same week, you'll probably spend 30 bucks versus the 22 I pay. Now, about ordering. If you order your units online like I do, then I would definitely advise you to buy your units in bulk. I buy my units from wig types. I just kind of fooled with sister wigs because I'm doing a, um, a uh, kind of like a collaboration with someone. So I wanted to try them. Their, the unit was on their website a lot cheaper. And I wanted to try them to see how the shipping was. And the shipping was really, really good. So I can't wait to do that collaboration. Pan y'all down just a little. Um, so always when you buy online, buy in bulk. Like I, even if you're just going to buy two wigs, normally a two, like two wigs, two good wigs, I probably run you 40, 48 bucks, 49 bucks. I don't know about a lot of websites, but I know on wigtypes.com, anything $49 and over your shipping is free so normally when i buy wigs online i'm normally buying in bulk i'm not normally buying two or three wigs six or seven wigs but i'm buying in bulk so my shipping is always free subscribe to their emails a lot of these um companies online they do send you out five dollars off ten dollars off things like that um a lot of them don't do it though because a lot of them their prices are already kind of you know as low as they can go Another good, great tip, check out the clearance and the sale wigs because you can find some really nice wigs on the clearance and sale. I have found some really cute wigs on the clearance and sale. Um, let's see, what else? What else can I tell you? Um, do your research before buying wigs. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people buy these wigs. They don't do the research on the companies. They don't uh, look at different reviews of the people wearing the hair. This hair literally took me three, four months to decide on this hair because I'm the type of person, I'm not just going to buy because it's the trend and everybody has it and everybody's wearing it. I'm normally going to buy the hair because number one, I've seen good, good, no, well, number one, I'm interested in the hair. Number two, I've seen really good reviews on the hair. Number three, I think the hair is going to look nice on me. So that's one of the processes of buying hair. Then I go into the color because now you got to decide. Once you decide you want the hair, you've done your research on the hair, you've watched reviews on the hair, you've seen the pros and the cons of the hair, and you decided, hey, I like this hair. I'm going to try it out and give it a chance. Once you do that, then you got to pick the color. Me, I've learned that I do good with reds, blues, purples, certain blondes because your girl can't get away with all the blondes and your girl can't get away with fire engine red it got to be the deep reds the wine reds burgundies things like that 
blacks. I can only do blacks and curly hair. I haven't really tried it in straight hair. If I'm going to do a textured wig, I can do the natural colors like the deep browns, the blondes, you know, things like that. So, know your colors, know what works good with your skin tone and your skin. Okay, so another thing, I my mom had a bad experience recently. She went and bought um, some wigs from overseas because you go on Facebook, you see these people selling these wigs on Facebook, and you just think that these wigs, because they're selling them for $8 and $5, are a deal. You're getting the best deal ever. In my DJ Kelly voice, don't play yourself, okay? Um, everything that's cheap ain't good. Now, a girl love making her money work for her. She love getting more for her buck, buck. But some things you just can't go cheap on. And if you got to wear it on your body, you should not be going cheap on your hair. You probably like, but Keith, what's your version of cheap? $8 for a wig. And I wish I still had the wigs because I would show you. But she sent them to me because she was like, I know you always work with wigs. And the pictures that she showed me of the wigs... The pictures looked it amazing. I was like, yes, I'm going to rock this hair. I'm going to do the doggone thing. I'm going to turn these wigs out. She sent me them wigs. It, there was nothing. Nothing I could do for them. The construction was horrible. You know where the... You, you see how that, that parting is right there? And that, it looked like a natural scalp. It looked like they folded plastic on the wigs. And just stapled it together. So be mindful of the companies that you buy your units from. Just because they're selling them dirt cheap don't make them good. Do that. What's another great tip I can give you guys? Take care of your units. It's all about how you brush your units and take care of your units and maintain your units now this don't require you to do nothing but run your hands through it and don't run your hands in through it too much because remember even though these are beautiful curls you don't want to disturb them too much because that's when the tangling start coming into play and then number two the more you play with the hair the bigger the hair get this hair will swell up in a hot new york minute so you don't want to keep manipulating the hair and messing with the hair once you find the style in the hair that you like leave it alone and normally with my curly units, I don't really put my my hands in the hair anyway. So they tend to last a little longer. Um, if you have like the straight wigs, like the Jazzies, the Clarys of the world, the Pipples of the world, I would advise using this type of brush because I have another brush. I think it's like called a paddle brush. I don't know what this one's called. But I think the other one's called like a paddle brush. It's like an oval and it ha doesn't have this see through what I can see through here doesn't have that it's all just closed up for me it feel like the, that it snagged my wigs a lot I paid a dollar for this brush and this is the only brush I use now and my wigs last a long long time um if you want to comb out the curls a little bit on your curly units then I would advise you to um maybe use like one of those really really wide tooth combs don't use a brush Use like a really, really wide tooth comb. Um, but just, yeah, I mean, the trick to um, your wigs lasting long and taking care of your wigs is making sure you don't manipulate the hair too much. You don't stretch the hair too much because these are fibers. This is not human hair. So once you screw it up, it's screwed up. You know, you could probably bring it back to life with, and throw your own curls in there and whatever. But when I buy a wig, I don't want to do too much work. The only work I'm going to have, I really want to do is probably cut the lace. And pluck that part, part a little bit. Other than that, I'm gonna do nothing to the hair. Um, but also make sure you store your wigs properly. I tend now I kept this box because I like the way the wig slides out of the box. Hold on, because it ain't doing it right now, making me look shame. I like the way that it slides out the box, so I tend to keep this unit in its original box, even though it's bulky. I just can't, I just like to keep it in the original box. But let's say I wasn't keeping the box, I would still keep the plastic that it came in and store my wigs in there. Your wigs last long when they are in a dry, cool place. 
uh, I keep my wigs in storage bins. Those big, big storage bins, I keep all my wigs in there. It keeps them lasting long. They don't get to start drying out because I don't care what nobody says. If you leave a wig out in the, in the air or whatever, it can have, have the potential to go bad eventually. So, yeah, those are basically some of the tips that I have found helpful for me when ordering wigs. Oh, and another good thing. When you see a wig at a certain price, go to different websites and see if those prices are lower or higher. That way you'll know if you're getting a really good deal on the wigs. Um, a lot of times if I go to certain wigs, I might see it's a dollar cheaper or it could be a dollar more. So if it's a dollar cheaper, then I typically stay with who I'm ordering with anyway. And if it's a dollar cheaper, then I st still stay because it's nothing but a dollar. But when we start talking about major coins, like, oh, it's $5 more or it's $5 cheaper, then you might have to reevaluate where you're getting your wig from, okay? So I am going to get out of here. I hope this was really helpful. I have not done a Simply Keys coin. I did so two Simply Key corner segments and i have not done one in a minute so we're going to put this in the simply key playlist if you have any questions any um advice any just anything you want to know you know about life about me about if you just have questions about anything Leave it in the comment section or I always put my email address in the description box. You can email me. I'm on Snapchat. You can Snapchat me the question. I'm um, on Instagram. You can DM me the question. I'm on Facebook. You can Facebook message me the question. Um, I mean, I'm here for you guys. So I'm, I ain't been on this earth number 35 years, but I've done a lot of living, a lot of learning. A lot, I got a lot of experience and a lot of things. So... If you just have questions or you want to offer advice or you have DIY tips or you know of some things that me and the children would enjoy doing as a family or certain things, anything, leave it in the comment section or hit me up in, on one of my um, social media sites. So I'm going to get out of here. I am Simply Key. And if nobody told you you were beautiful today, Simply Key going to tell you you're beautiful, honey, because you simply are. Awesome, okay. So I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Trust if you feel like my shit is weak When you see me on the street, it's speak I read fun you